we live in an amazing world. A world where we make the impossible possible. We can fly, go underwater for kilometers. We raise buildings that touch the skies and we even manage to visit one of our neighboring celestial bodies. We do all this, and with as much finesse as the technology of our time can allow. But in this quest for discovery and creation, we have lost the most important foyer of social connection, friendship. Humans have been capable of great things when they come together. It is this social connection which has enabled the survival of the human race. And I ask you this, did you ever take a moment to consider who is your friend and why? Aristotle tells us that a friend is someone with unconditional love towards us. Friendship is a sense of completion and dilatation of our own persona within the face of someone else. So a friend is the complement and extension of ourselves. In most cases, it is very hard to find such an ideal in our culture because it is a culture dominated by consumption and technology. It is true that technology has brought us all these new advances in our lives, the internet, social media, the phones in our pockets, that have improved our quality of life, yet they have deteriorated the bonds between us. The biggest irony of them all is that this culture brought globalization, which was supposed to bring humans together that weren't able before, and make this world a global village of the friendless. The sad reality is that our friends are only that because they may serve our interest at a particular time and can easily be said to be just acquaintances. It is no coincidence that in our largest cities we have the largest percentage of people suffering from depression, anxiety and loneliness. One in 20 people will experience depression in their lives, one in 10 anxiety, but it is 99% certain that every single person will experience loneliness in his or her lifetime. How is this possible in this era? We have all these social media like Facebook, let alone the device which allows us to be in constant touch with each other. We should have tons of friends, right? 224 Facebook friends? No. We like the definition of what a friend means. The word friend has its roots in the Gothic and Old Norse word from, which means to love or to favor and share similarities with the word to be free. Isn't it funny that all civilizations that were considered barbaric by most had such a powerful word as friend in their dialect? And isn't it funny how for granted we take it today to be a friend, not just some name on our Facebook wall? In our modern culture of consumption, we have grown to be so independent, some of us may be in fact considered to be friendless, most of us perhaps, Aristotle said it best yet again. To be friendless, you must either be a god or a beast. And I think that humans have always striven to be equals of a god. Money, our materialistic values, have become our own tower of bubble, which will also bring our own demise. But if Aristotle was wrong about something, is that there is something divine in the friendship between humans. Humans can be rid of at least two or more major social issues in their lives. And all we have to do is turn our phones for a little while and actually make an effort to visit the ones we care about in person. I'm sure this is a possibility. Look how far we made it so far. <laughs> in this age of technology, where the brutality of our action has caused us solitude, where only gods and beasts can survive, we may take a rest from this race and look to the person next to us. Thank you. <laughs>